Why, hello there. Good morning, good afternoon, <laughs> or good evening. Whatever time it is for you, thank you so much for stopping by. Welcome to tonight's stream. Oh, I am off my game tonight. <laughs> oh, really? I love car. This passes by right now. Okay. So, yes, welcome to tonight's stream. I'm a little off my game. Today was a little rough, but we're excited. We're excited. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited to do some more variable barricade. All right. <sighs> so we're still on Tiger's board, but hopefully we'll be able to finish this and maybe another guy's board tonight. I do have to work tomorrow, so I unfortunately can't go late, but we'll do as much as we can in the time we have available. All right, my first train ride. When Tiger realizes I've never ridden on a commuter train, he drags me to the station. Off we go. Just jumping right in. No time to waste. Oh? A whoa? A new friend? Um, oh right, Samuki did mention that some merch for one of her favorite characters goes on sale today. I feel that. Say, Samugi, do you mind if I come along with you today? Um, maybe, but probably not. Um, not really, but I would like to tag along. I just don't feel like going straight home to the Suter Circus today. <laughs> In this case, it is our circus and it is our monkeys. Oh, okay. Well, if you're gonna sing me the praises of your fictional boyfriend, I'll happily listen. Samugi and I quickly got our things together and left the classroom. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, why do you suddenly get, you know, uh, formal with her? Excuse me. Oh, I forgot to check one thing. <sighs> I hate that I have to do this. It's an annoying thing to check, but it's helpful. Okay. All right, we're good. Everything is all good. Making certain that the <laughs> hi, Zetanika. Hello. I am not a bot. <laughs> <sighs> it's, a, it's a good old Friday night. How are both of you guys doing? Woo! Three months! Thank you so much, Zetanika! Big Melrose Nyan hug! I think... Do I have my... I should have my little thingy setting. That's... Where am I going? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, um, it's bigger now. <laughs> it was kind of a crapshoot if it would go off before. And yes, thank you for following for so long. I'm not a bot. I appreciate it. I hope you both are having a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is for you. Oh. <sighs> I made myself dizzy with that head tilt there, and then I did it again. Oh, that was a stupid move, Prince. <laughs> well, I may be getting new alerts soon. I hope, I hope. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, hands together. <laughs> Pick a god and pray. Um, <laughs> I applied for uh, getting a whole new visual suite done, so I hope I get in. I hope, I hope they pick me. I'm excited. Big commissions, fun commissions, spending money on pretty stuff. <laughs> but we're... Didn't mean to... <laughs> <laughs> oh, two can do that, Smoogie. Oh, I know I do that every time she does that. I do that every single time. Um... Yeah, 
I got distracted. We are on Tyga's little mini board for right now. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> new, uh, new channel point alert. New channel point redeem. <laughs> Prince, Prince, uh, Princess laughs. <laughs> All right. But yeah, we're on we're on Tyga's board again, and apparently this has to do with trains, riding trains, which I'm excited for because I enjoyed riding the trains in Japan. That was fun. Like literally, I could have spent a whole day just riding the train, which probably would have put me at like peak tourist behavior, but I enjoyed it. <laughs> oh, I love that the, the closed captions picked up tourist as Taurus. I mean, not untrue. Not untrue. I am very much a Taurus. Okay, well, maybe it's just that I've never been on a train in the U.S. I, there's no public transport. There's Well, no, there is public transportation where I live, but it's really difficult to get to. And I never got to actually, like, use it, use it. Um, and then in college, I did have a bus that I could ride to take me to, like, the grocery store. But that was, like... I mean, it wasn't cool. <laughs> the trains were cool. The trains were cool. There was like all sorts of stuff going on. Yeah. Yeah, I've never actually been on a train in the US. No, actually. I should take that back. I've been on one train, but I was tiny. I was very young and um, the train went forward for like five feet or something. And then it went backwards for like five feet or something. And then that was it. It was a, um, like Thomas the Tank Engine, some sort of, no, it wasn't by choice. Someone put me on a train. I think it was because my little, my, my younger earth brother really liked Thomas the Tank Engine. Um, and there was like some sort of, not museum. I think there was like a train museum that they, had a big Thomas the Tank Engine on. Like, they, they dressed up a train. <laughs> they had a train cosplaying. Um, and I was on that for, like, I, a according to my Earth Mom, it really wasn't a very long time. <laughs> but yeah, so, um, and I don't really remember it either. So, yeah. In, in Japan, I went on the trains, like, by choice. <laughs> I mean, I also, I needed to go somewhere, and they are like, we have to go by train. Um, but... Oh, hello! Hello! I know! You're like, mommy. Mommy, what? Why are you ta- Oh! Oh, you come trotting up close. She's like, hey. You were home really late yesterday. Like, really late yesterday. Now, what are you doing now? I'm streaming, kitty. This is not a new occurrence. <laughs> Alright. Love of Prince story time. <laughs> Wait, what? Why is he here of all places? I almost lost my cool, but I managed to get myself back under control by taking stock of my surroundings. There's nothing to look at. There is simply a rough-looking hooligan nearby. I have no idea who he is, nor do I care. Okay. Come, Samugi. Let's go. I'll ignore you as much as I fucking want. <laughs> I tried to walk past him, but he had the gall to reach out and grab me by the arm. Left with no other option, I turned to look at him. Why are you here? Oh, how convenient. Errands. If it's gritty, I don't think I want to know the details. Also, not if it's boring. No, thank you. I'm sure it was something like pachinko or horse racing or some other means of gambling. I'm study. <laughs> that is a good question. What type of errand would be considered men's business? Ah. Uh -uh. I'm studying hard to secure a good fortune for myself. A good fortune, a good future for myself. And he throws away his money and time without sparing a single thought about getting a job. Isn't he ashamed of himself? God. What's really funny is that after this week at work, 
talking of gambling just makes me like shudder. <laughs> In the US, when you gamble um, and you get money, you get a tax form because you have to pay taxes on your gambling winnings um, in excess of losses, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But um, basically, you get a yeah, yeah. Um, so you have uh, these fancy little forms. Fancy little forms. They're not really that fancy, um, but you get them every time you gamble and win. I don't know if y'all can see the pain in my expression. So when you have someone who gambles multiple times every weekend for a year, sometimes you get upwards of 56 forms to put in. Uh, so yeah, uh, gambling is is pain in my in my work. Gambling is pain. I shot him a disgusted look, but it rolled off of him like water off a duck's back. Get your own goddamn car, don't you? Didn't you get Kasuga to buy you a motorcycle? Hmm, I could stick him in the car with Samugi and I go out shopping instead. At that point, I stopped, suddenly realizing something odd. By the way, Taiga, you don't own a car. How'd you get here? Huh? The train? Oh, yeah. I mean, we are pretty sheltered. Yeah, exactly. What do you think our parents are I mean oh, I can't say our parents, our parents are dead. Uh do you think Costco would let us go on a train? I've ridden the bullet train. I simply haven't had much opportunity, that's all. <laughs> what? All of a sudden, dread washed over me. The luck on Tiger's face told me he was up to something. Yeah, I'm going to I don't think I want to know any real-world experiences you would like to teach, Taiga. I don't think that would be good for my health or any of my well-being. Yeah. That sentence is what it is. What? Why on earth would I need anything like that? Besides, Samugi and I were going to... Yeah. Shimugi. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, to the grocery store, like common people. Not the Snuggy store. Close captions? Not the Snuggy store. The grocery store. Do I really slur my words that badly? Considering that my brain feels like split pea soup, possibly. Smoogie! I don't want to take me away! The stuffy kick on my arm! Smoogie! Nah! My friend waved cheerily as Taiga dragged me away, not even giving me the chance to say goodbye. Going to the grocery store is kind of like an adventure sometimes. Especially when you go on your own. As we walked, Taiga called Cusco without even asking me first, telling him we didn't need the car. He kept dragging me along until we stood in the trade station. Hi, Shadow Flame! How you doing? I hope you're having a wonderful evening. Even thinking back on what happened next makes me furious enough to scream! I won't, though, to spare your ears. As for what happened... Yeah? Oh my god. He's actually like teaching us like a child. Okay. I am doing okay. It's been a long day and I have to work again tomorrow, so... 
<sighs> I'm tired, and I'm glad that there's only a little bit later. Only, yeah, only a little bit later. Only a few more weeks to go, and then I'm done with the um deadline. We'll still have work to do. There will still be work to do, <laughs> but it won't be under such a crunch. Yeah, ticket, ticket machine. <laughs> Even I have a pass. I don't know where it is. It's probably somewhere in the rest of my Japan stuff that even though my trip was multiple years ago, um, I still haven't fully separated out. It's just in one big doom pile. Cause that's the ADHD, baby. <laughs> but yep. Um, also, I'm, I'm having to do a lot more of um, a, of my, my, my driver's ed stuff, which is scary. It's very scary. I'm almost done though. I just have to actually like literally take the written test now. Um, I can do that from my phone, thankfully. But um, it's like, oh shit, oh shit, bro. Like this is real now. Um, yeah. で、このボタンがお釣りな。読めるか?お釣り。お釣りはわかる。これやろう。I'm not stupid, thank you. Ugh, I can tell that much on my own. で、この赤いのが自爆ボタンだ。押すと爆発する。Don't fuck with me. Ugh, see? I turned 24 in under a month. I haven't had my license yet. I'm just now getting it. Well, I'm getting my learner's permit. I'm not getting my full license. Um, because I haven't had time to get actually behind the wheel of a vehicle. Oh! I'm always in It's always interesting to hear about people's experiences. That might also just be me feel thinking that humans are very interesting. I mean, I'm literally out of college. I'm just now learning it. I tried to learn it before college, but that didn't work out. Mostly because I was busy getting into college and traveling to Japan. And um, driving kind of took a back seat. And then also I forgot about it, so. I mean, it's not like I have a car, too. I, I don't have a car. I'm just borrowing my Earth parents' car, mostly. <laughs> it will become my car soon, but not now. You're kidding, right? Hey, why are you suddenly so quiet? That's a lot of fun. I would love to, um, I would love to one day like vlog my experiences in Japan. Go to go to Japan again and vlog my experiences. That'd be a lot of fun. Ugh, he is definitely making fun of me. Well excuse me for having only ever ridden the bullet train. I successfully that's not the word. I successfully managed to buy a ticket. Taiga ribbed me through the whole process. We made our way onto a train. That much at least went well. But the worst is yet to come. It was very nice. Um, I went I've been multiple times, but all every single time has been during the summer. Um which has been coincidentally the rainy season. So it was very rainy, very hot, very humid, which technically not all that different from where I am, except much more wet. I'm used to a more dry heat at times, mostly dry heat, sometimes very humid, but it was way more humid in Japan. But um, it was very nice. I very much enjoyed it. Um, I've been all over the place in Japan. I spent a whole two weeks in Tokyo. Like, you know, all things, all trips together, I spent probably about a month in Tokyo. Um, 
And then I've also been into Nara and Kyoto and um, Hiroshima. Um, and oh crap, where was the other place we went? Uh, I've been to Kochi. That was that was that was interesting. Um, but I've also been in two typhoons. Um, one I actually heard about on the TV while we were in Kochi. Uh, this was probably like four years ago. Um, because I had been in, well, I, I had been in Japanese classes for two years then, I think two years. Um, and so we actually like were able to pick up a lot and like actually really talk to people. Um, and it, I was with me, uh, we being, uh, I was with one of my friends. Well, we became friends because we were the only two <laughs> AFAB people on the trip. Um, so we were broomed together. <laughs> They're like, well, shit, uh, you guys are the only, you know, quote unquote girls. Um, so you guys get to be together. So we, we became friends very, which was awesome because that would have sucked if we weren't friends. We're still friends now. Um, I just haven't talked to her in a while. <laughs> Um, we're mutuals on Twitter and stuff. Yeah, all the times that I've been, I went with, uh, either a student group or, um, like, a student group. Oh, that's okay, Shadowflame. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you have wonderful dreams. But yeah, every time I've been was with, like, a larger group. Um, not, like, super large. Um, but... The, um, it's always been with a group. I've never gone by myself, mostly because I don't think I'd be able to do that in my current, like, anxiety state. Be like, ah, uh -uh. uh -uh. too much could go wrong. <laughs> Which, I mean, I would like to go by myself. I would like to, I like fairly know my way around-ish. I know my way around certain places, certainly around the one space in Tokyo that we've stayed for like a month now, all the trips together. Um, but yeah, it, uh, I really enjoyed all my Japan trips. And I have a lot of very silly stories about Japan trips, um, as I always do. I have lots of silly stories about everything. Yeah. Ah, uh, sorry. But, um, I was always, I was always just, uh, Baby speak. You would think after three years in Japanese classes, I would have remembered more, but nope, after three years of not using it, it gets rusty. But I get back into it. I do more stuffs. Doing my kanji practice, lots of kanji practice. I did fucking 500 reviews earlier this week. That was, that was, um, that was rough. I got 85% correct though, so that was awesome. <laughs> oh, oh my god, is it rush hour? Holy shit, I have a funny rush hour story. <laughs> yeah, so... Welcome to more Prince story time. Did you think we were gonna play a game? Dash, nah, Prince talking. Uh, <laughs> um, but. Arigato! Zenbu, zenbu, muzukashi, kedo, ganbarimashu! Um. Wow, my. The, yeah, the, the captions totally don't know what I'm saying. Um, but. Um. I was so my friend wanted to go see the Tokyo Metropolitan Building. Well, we we had a we had an off day, or we'd already visited the company that we were going to visit for the day, um, and it was time to go for an off day, um, so we could go wherever the hell we wanted. And it was like five, six o'clock in, in the evening, and my friend was like, "Hey, I kind of want to go see the Tokyo Metropolitan Building," and I was like, "Oh yeah, I I know where that is actually." <laughs> I just I can pull up a map and then I I've been there like twice. I can I can get us there. 
um, which was awesome. I felt very cool being the guide. <laughs> um, but so we got in the train to go to our stop, and then I completely forgot what time it was and the fact that it was rush hour. Um, so <laughs> me, our fr me, my friend, and our uh, guide leader, our group leader, who was like, yeah, I'll come with you. Um, we all got stuck in a train in rush hour. And that was a very interesting experience, especially because as someone who uses a cane, I take up a little more room than the usual person. <laughs> um, and I was like, oh God, oh God. <laughs> I wanted to be able to make it, I was like trying to make it to one of the seats because I, you know, I have the priority seating. Um, and that was not, I was not gonna be able to do that. Um, and I felt really bad because you know the rule, like manners say you shouldn't talk on the train, but we all got separated and I couldn't, I was like, I couldn't like motion to them. Um, so I had to, I had to be really, uh, be, the, be the really rude American and, um, talk out loud on the train and be like, next stop, next stop, right side. Because... <laughs> It was, it was a, it was a, certainly an experience. And then we got out and we went, oh, that's right. It was rush hour. Whoopsies. <laughs> what on earth? Why are all these people coming into one car? I don't know. That was my reaction. <laughs> School uniforms, work uniforms, suits, and more. People wearing all kinds of uniforms kept packing into the car. Uh. There isn't even there isn't even enough room for another person to stand, but they still keep on coming. Yeah, that was uh that was the fun thing was that because I couldn't get to a seat, I had to stand. Um and I was not truly, I did. Smart, smart, smart. Um, I had to stand, and I had to use my hand that was not on my, um, cane. <laughs> I was not using my assistive device <laughs> to, uh, grip the, one of the, like, hanging, uh, hand, hand grips, hand rails, hand slings, I don't know what to call them. Um, I was like, <laughs> I was like, this tiny piece of yellow plastic is what's keeping me from just collapsing onto the bed beside me. And not in like a swoon, like a uh, romantic way, in a very awkward, <laughs> not good way. <laughs> I really didn't need Taika to tell me that already. I'd already pressed myself up as close to the door as possible. Everyone ought to be allowed at least two feet of personal personal space. And that's the polite thing. How can everyone tolerate these ridiculously cramped conditions? I could feel someone's breath right next to my ear. The faint scent of another person wafted past my nose. I could even the I could even feel the warmth of other bodies against me. It was just a wall of people. I couldn't ignore them. Yeah, if Taiga had been with me, I feel like he would have just like parted the seas. He would have just been like, move, move. Disabled person in the house, move! <laughs> move, he's gay. <laughs> I felt like I just lost an important part of myself. <laughs> what? This, this is torture! And the main instrument of said torture stood directly in front of me. Too close! Wait, too Hi, I'm still here. I'm still breathing. I'm not enjoying it. Too close! I know there was little point to complaining about that. There was little either of us could do. But I just had to say it. Were you in the window, silly baby? Another bad feeling struck me. Don't get fucking closer to me, asshole. Whenever I heard that, ah, oh, from him, it usually meant he'd come up with new ways to torment me. What? Do not kiss on the train! Gross! Huh? I don't fucking need 
kissing lessons? I mean, possibly, but not from you. Do not joke about that at a time like this. I was well aware this was simply his special way of poking fun at me. I'd learned that the hard way. But I also knew that if he somehow managed to steal my first kiss, he'd probably shrug off the theft with a casual, Oops, my bad. I had to keep that from happening, no matter what. I will not let him take that kiss as a joke. I mustered up every ounce of my strength that shoved, but... Taiga, the fuck? The train car rocked and he moved with it, inching every cl ever closer to me. I had nowhere left to run. There was only one thing left for me to do. You fucking sleaze. <laughs> well, I mean, of the two places you could have hit, I think his foot was probably the kinder one. You reap what you sow. Shut it, predator! If you try even one more stunt, I'll shout pervert so loudly everyone in this car and the next one will hear it. <laughs> Hello! What do you want? Why, why, why do you constantly ask for pets now? Taika's normally smug expression melted to frustration. That alone made me feel like gloating over my victory. <laughs> and yet, this is the first time I've managed to shut him up. But, odd, something still doesn't feel right. Maybe it's because he's so close. Oh no, I have an itch in my ear. Oh no. Oh, oh, it's the worst place when it's literally an itch inside of your ear. You would better not. Oh, yeah, I have every reason to be mad when you're being creepy. I don't want to admit to myself that he of all people had managed to make my heart skip a beat. Fuck, not Taiga. Please, God, are we at the station yet? Incomfortable train ride churned on. I desperately tried to keep fidgeting against Taiga. Or oh, keep from fidgeting against Taiga as we gradually made our way to our destination. That's the worst way to... Start a train experience. Ah, Urusai! Hentai. When we finally arrived, I made a quick but dignified dash out of the train door. Taika followed, glaring. Why would I? That was entirely your fault. Think about what you did and try to be better next time. Oh, Hacha. What's that? You want me to stomp on your foot again? <laughs> True. T Nayuta probably would have been into that. He probably would ask me to step on it more. Taiga held up both hands in defeat. I didn't particularly feel like pushing the issue either. Better simply to forget it ever happened. I hated it. What did I think? Isn't it obvious? Ooh, what if we say it was frightening? I mean, we're not- we're not really caring. It was frightening. <laughs> They've been discussed on the news from time to time, so I was aware of them. But this really taught me just how frightening train gropers can be. Oh, <laughs> 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 Gropers, they're really frightening. <laughs> Next time, I'll call the police. <laughs> yeah, too subtle for Taiga. I still didn't know why getting one over on Taiga hadn't really felt like a victory earlier, but this time it really seemed like I'd managed to fluster him. I smiled. Ma Probably. I hate to admit that he's right on this part. Good point. I learned that thing there were things in the world I would never know unless I experienced them myself. That by itself was big. I didn't want to go through any more trying experiences, of course. But maybe it wouldn't be so bad to expand my horizons in less chaotic ways. Oh my god. Shut your car up! What? Are you giving me orders now? Mm. 
I'll only accept useful advice, thank you. Lesson in real life, my foot. All this did was wear me out. I want to go straight home and rest. Shut your car up, asshole. Juice, I like juice. I had a very fun smoothie today, right before stream. Oh my god, can you not? Um, it was pineapple, peach, and orange. It was very nice. And with that, he pointed at a, a vending machine. <gasps> Do they have peach nectar? That was like legit my favorite drink in Japan, and I nearly cried when I found it again. Yeah. Yeah, be quiet. I'm streaming, fuckers. <sighs> yeah, peach. If they have peach nectar, uh, I'll I'll do anything for peach nectar, dude. It's the fucking best drink I ever had in Japan. I had a lot of really good stuff with peach nectar. I tried it, I think, like the first time I went to Japan, and I really fell in love with it. And then I couldn't find it at all the second time I was in Japan, and I was so sad. And then the third time, I found it again, and I was like, fuck yeah, peach nectar. And like, literally every time we would go past a vending machine with peach nectar, I would get some. <laughs> peach nectar, peach nectar, peach nectar, give me peach nectar. I have it, no, I probably could. But, I don't know. A can of soda from a vending machine. Ooh, that was a big model glitch. <laughs> He calls this a reward? Hmm. Hmm. あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
酒もりうまい酒であれ、チェキンプロセイヤーたいがつまみができたから酒瓶を少し端に寄せてくれ。How many is he had? まったく、急に酒盛りに付き合いなんて、こちらの都合も考えてほしいよ。うん。はいはい、感謝してるぜっと。じゃあ早速始めっか。一夜、グラスよこせ、注いでやる。うん。Oh. おや、その酒、珍しい。というか。日本では見かけない銘柄だね。What kind of fucking fancy foreign alcohol do you have, Taiga? Yeah, apparently. I wonder if he has. He's probably a. He's probably a heavyweight. Like, he's probably not a lightweight. That'd be too, that would be too Gatmo. Ah, Ethiopia no sake da gara na. What? Jimoto no yats da ke ga shiru i pin da. Where the fuck did you get alcohol from Ethiopia? Zuibun kiroi. Don't put that near me because I would, I would mistake it for orange juice and then be very upset that it's alcohol. Oh. That means it probably is deceptively strong. Oh, well, at least I'm not the only one asking these questions. You have a friend in Ethiopia? I mean, I don't know why I've kind of just been assuming that he's like Dice from Hypnosis Mike. In that he's just like a trash goblin. He kind of doesn't seem like a trash goblin. I don't know why that's been my like running understanding of his character. Because obviously he's not a trash goblin. Maybe he's a trash goblin. Maybe he's a secret trash goblin. But, uh, not now. Huh? Maybe I would like it if it's like juice. <laughs> good one, Zetetica. Good one. Dun 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 これを送ってきたやつと初めて会ったときにベロベロになるまでガブ飲みしたんだよ。I mean, I guess it makes sense. そんで二人ともスリにやられてすってんてん。Oh! なんとか日本に帰ってこれたけどな。懐かしいってのは軽いジョークだ。You got mugged in Ethiopia? Somehow that's a much more interesting life than I kind of expected. I mean, I expected the usual, like, I gambled all my money away, and then I took out some debts, and now I'm being chased by load sharks, and those kind of, like, you know, shenanigans. But, uh, not. I was with a friend in Ethiopia, drinking our hearts out, and then we got mugged. Taiga, making friends with randos since. Whatever the fuck year this is. <laughs> oh, so it's not just like a casual like friend. It's like a friend. It's Exactly. So you're too busy looking for validation in the sex you're attracted to, and not enough looking for validation among your peers or、uh, inside yourself. I've psychoanalyzed him. 
そういうことにしといてやるか。You don't believe that for one minute, do you, Taiga? でもまあ、この酒を飲めたのは、タイガがその彼と友情を深めていたおかげだ。礼を言うよ。Yeah. And also, they're having male bonding time right now. Although this is not a male bonding time that I think I would ever want to participate in. This is gonna be the one where the female quarter slikes. Slike? Strikes. <laughs> Why is he getting mushy? Because you've fucking given him like strong ass alcohol. Exactly. Love has bloomed on the battlefield. But not between the men and their intended target. No, this love has bloomed between brothers in arms. Brothers in arms who, at once, thought they were going for the same goal. Having to fight one another as only one could be the victor. But instead, they decided to aim for a different goal. And now I'm writing fanfiction. <laughs> Truly, love comes when you don't expect it. Come on, Taiga. Or sorry, Ichia. Ichia. You can admit you like men. We'll form a club. Men who like men. We'll be at MLM. But not in the like. Um. Scam pyramid scheme way. In the men loving men way. Shikata ne, eh? Tomodachine, Ichia no Tony, what I got skiat the erga. Well, then. Rusai. He's already, he started sucking out of tears. <laughs> no, Ichia, don't answer the call of the dark side. Teren, not there. Taiga, everything you said could have could be misconstrued. So I think he has he has perfectly logical reason to be embarrassed. Oh no, you're very bashful, sweetie. Whatever lets you sleep at night, honey. Ah. Alright, sweethearts. You can go flirt somewhere else. Not that I'm not having fun watching it. Let the man finish his first drink before you start shoving the second one on him. That's how you get blackout drunk. I was surprised to see those two in enjoying a drink together. They seem like such polar opposites. <gasps> They're red and blue! I mean, pink, pink and blue, but red and blue. Red and blue gays! It's perfect. It's perfect. I've cracked the code. I've cracked the code. They're the two who aren't interested in me because they're interested in each other. Is this how a bromance is born? Ha <laughs> ha! Even the game recognizes it. Thought about how unexpected it was and tapped the replay button. Oh, we watched it again. Uh huh. <laughs> All right. Who's calling? I overhear Taiga on a call in the garage. It sounds alarming to say the least. Yeah, play this event. Several days had passed since the great train misadventure. The sun was setting, and dinner was almost ready. You're not gonna starve, Nayuta, I promise. Where is Taiga? Still asleep, I'm sure. He stays up entirely too late at night. But it's dinner time. Yeah. A bed is an interesting word. 
I was being sarcastic. This is Tycho we're talking about. I'm sure he's roaming as usual with little regard to anyone else's schedule. Right about then, Ichia poked his head out of the kitchen. Taiga nara saki garage de mitayo. Bike no teire de mo sterun janai kana. See? Wandering. Nara ore, yondikimas. Oh, the hiccups. Matte naita. Kiminiwa osara o hakobu yakume gar de show. Mm hmm. Oh, that makes sense. Yok chew is never die job. To you, what did it? Got a chan. It takes the crew. Hmm, interesting. Why did she unsend us? Why must I do it? Nantonak. Tenga, I didn't know. Kimi Dakedashi. What are you busy with, honey? Um, I don't see you doing anything either. It wasn't as if it was a huge chore to let a person know that dinner was ready. I wasn't that petty. The problem was that it meant dealing with Taiga. Or itching my nose right now as it takes. Yeah, Xion is... Being pretty is a full-time job. No, not particularly. I simply don't care for rude, foul-mouthed people. So. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> We're on the same wavelength tonight, Zetetica. Xion smiled at me as unmovable as a statue. The pressure of that smile weighed on me until I got up and made my way towards the garage. It always smells of metal and oil in here. I'm not sure I'll ever grow accustomed to it. I'll let him know it's dinner time, then leave. I looked around, trying to find Taiga. Peeking through the door to the back, I finally spotted him, but... He was talking on his phone, looking strangely serious. Money? Who is he speaking with, I wonder? Taiga? Get what through other channels? More money, perhaps? Ah, <gasps> He's doing illegal things! He's selling NFTs! Huh? Do you need a pyramid scheme real fast, Taiga? You were the one who accepted it so quickly. How? <laughs> Is the back of my hand itch? That's a weird place to itch. Underdog victories! Taiga? <laughs> if I tell you, it's not spying then, is it? Never mind that for now. What was that call about? <laughs> now, but dinner's almost ready. Oh, why? Why? Ow! Ow! It itches! And I've scratched myself now. Well, tis why I keep the no itch cream on my desk at all times. Uh, both. Nayuta's the walking debt machine, but he gambles all his money, so. They're both in debt, just for different reasons. <laughs> Nayata's in debt because he's... oblivious. And with that, he dashed back into the house, headed to his room, I'm sure. Once he collected his things, he would probably hop on his motorcycle and take off to wherever. What was that phone call? He has to get money? Now? And it sounded like he was pushed for time. What is he gonna do? How does he get what he needs? Suddenly, Taika's voice echoed in my mind. What? <laughs> Christmas. Ow, ow! 
Why is there a sharp portion of the freaking itch cream? Oh, and now there's a child in the hallway. Ugh. This thing smells so gross. I really hate the smell of this. It's so bad. But I must use it because it helps. Boy, it smells so bad. It's gross. <laughs> In case you didn't know, it's gross. <laughs> Wait. Don't tell me he's gonna gamble for it! When stuck in a desperate situation, it becomes that much harder for a person to make rational exist rational decisions. <laughs> okay, so here's the funny thing. Um... When I can't get an itch with my fingernails, like on the back of my hand, I will bite it. <laughs> to see if that will scratch it. So you could say, I've embraced the cat. <laughs> I gulped as the weight of my deduction hit me. Oh, Taiga, I'm worried about you. What? Taiga? He, uh, he left. Xiang gave me a curious glance, but I looked away. The whole way back from the garage, I pondered whether or not I should discuss what I heard with the others. What would I even say to them? Taika was caught up in dire money problems, and he needed to get a lot of cash very quickly. His only plan was to hopefully get lucky with gambling? Or... so I thought. I wasn't sure I fully understood the situation. Was it right to bring it up at all? But what if something happened? And yet... My thoughts chased themselves in my head. In the end, I couldn't find any words to say. Now we're just overthinking it. Alright, next! Taiga's emergency situation! <gasps> Is Taiga acting strange? As I started to worry, a heavy thud comes from his room! Let's go! Several days passed since I accidentally overheard Taiga's phone conversation in the garage. Will he be here today, I wonder? Taiga hardly showed up for mealtimes anymore. On the rare occasion that I did spot him in the house, he didn't stop to tease me like he usually did. In fact, he didn't seem to be in the mood to tease anyone at all. He was, to my knowledge, stayed coop staying cooped up in his room, doing what I couldn't say. If I hadn't gone to the garage that day, I wouldn't know what was happening. I wouldn't have to care either. I mean, you don't have to care now. It just proves that you're a nice person. After dinner. Ojo-san. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> He's not a butler. I mean, I guess he probably likes that though. Hot chai Yeah. なんかへん。そうでした。どうしたんですかね、最近。いちゃ。いちゃ。Okay, he's still eating. Sometimes. So he's eating at least. Phew. So he is taking care of his boyfriend. Oh, okay. He's just eating. So don't go eating that food, Nayuta. Nayuta, Taiga no bun made tabeyo to shicha dame da yo. Same way, Blank. Shimasen yo. So na koto shitara mata nagurare cha. What he though? Demo saikin no Taiga san nara punch mo itaku nasa so. And we all know you want your smacks to hurt. Ashikani. <laughs> 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 <laughs
It's time for an intervention. <laughs> Everybody indirectly kissing Taiga because they're eating his food. <laughs> oh. When he saw him, what did, what did he say? What did he say? どうしたんですか。あ、あ、いや、いいとこまで来たんだが、春もんが足りなくなっちまってな。お。くそ。ちょっと外出てくれ。お。いや、オッケー、タイガー。Like like, do you do you need real help, Taiga? I'm a little concerned that Taiga actually needs like fucking real help. And he's just not telling us. I mean it probably isn't probably isn't, but it might be. Oh yeah, he's gambling at all. まだ終わっちゃいねえ。次がある。次が。タイガー見てる。タイガー俺の真骨頂はこっからだ。絶対に巻き返してやるぜ。うん。Oh <笑><笑> god. Oh god. Honey? Honey, are you okay? I hope this builds up it builds up to him doing something nice for us. Black and red, as in the colors on a casino's roulette wheel. <sighs> of course, that's what you noticed, Shion, honey. No, entirely wrong, honey. まさか。どうせゲームにでもハマって廃人にでもなってるんじゃないか? It certainly is a very creative answer. You know, points for creativity. Points for creativity. 現実的に考えたら、一夜の遊本が当たってそうだね。I <laughs> honestly don't think it's a game though. While everyone else cheerily laughed the matter off, I sat and nervously swirled my tea in its cup. Ichia lifted his cup to take a sip, and then paused, as if he suddenly remembered something. So, uh, what? Wait, what? just fucking hits him where it hurts, and he doesn't even mean to. Whoops. Yeah, the stock market isn't something you should mess with. If you don't really know what you're doing, you could end up losing a lot of money. So they all told him to lend it to the Pasoko and Haritsi. They done that. Yareba, Yarodo Shakin, were free. I got the sounds pretty normal. Oh shit, I dropped my teacup. Oh, Josa, I told it. Yakido was the night. Night, Tower Motte. Oh fuck, I dropped a teacup. Hi! Wakarimasa! Oh. I I'm fine, my hand slipped, that's all. Ojo-san! Hi, Taur this! Thank you, Nyanta. Ooh, I'm worried for Taiga now. I'm worried for Taiga now. Mmm. I don't know. Ugh, itchy up, itchy up. God, why do I keep pronouncing his name very Americanly? <laughs> oh, or, ugh, did itchy really have to bring up debts? Now my tea's all over the floor. But I knew it, that has to be it. Convinced I thought back to the conversation I heard. My imagination filled in the blanks and more. <laughs> I'm 
Yeah, I'm too busy thinking about my own little itchy hand. It's not itchy anymore, thankfully. The crane did it. うるせえ。ちゃんと返してやるからどうなるな。記事数までに俺が耳揃えて現なま用意しといてやるからよ。うん。一発逆転は俺のお箱だからな。見てろよ。5億と言わず10億ぐらい余裕で返してやるぜ
I'll try again. Maybe if I'm nice enough, I'll get a different answer. I grip my teacup harder, trying to keep my hands from quivering. Just leave him be. He said it's not our problem, so why bother with him? I set my key, my key cup. <laughs> I set my teacup down with deliberate care, and then got up from my seat. Oh, Ojo-san. What is with that attitude of his? We were just trying to help him. Well, forget him then. When everything falls apart and he comes begging for help, see if I do anything. No, thank you. Yes. The next day, yet again, Taiga failed to make an appearance at dinner. Well then. Naita, how was it? Damn <gasps> Hello, Sian Shobi! Thank you so much for stopping by! And thank you so much for the bits! I appreciate it! I hope you're having a wonderful meowing, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is for you! We are in a tense moment! We think our gambling addicted suitor may be under a lot of debt. It's a surprise. It's a shock! That is not really a surprise, nor is really the shock. We kind of knew he was in trouble. But, just how much trouble is he in? We'll have to find out. <gasps> he hasn't even read his messages. After yesterday, everyone was finally starting to realize just how serious things were with Taiga. But I'm the only one here who knows what's really going on. Yeah, he sold a heart? Not a heart, sorry, a lung? A kidney? He has no more organs left. Damn. He's in so much debt, he's been betting on the stock market. Or so we think. <laughs> if he would just open up with us... Nope, wrong. If he would just open up about it with us, there might be something we could do to help solve it. <laughs> I feel like I should go into like real drama voice acting. Taiga, just let us in. You don't have to do this alone, Taiga, I promise. We can help you. We're your friends, aren't we? Or do you not even think of us like that? But if he's going to be that way about it, then I don't see any need to expend the effort to help. And yet, if something serious happens, and he isn't able to... Ah, thank you so much for following! Welcome to being a Mellow Rose and Nya! Nya, nya, nya. <laughs> Oh, I love how my, my closed captions just pick that up as, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not even close, but thank you. <laughs> And yet, if something serious happens, and he isn't able to do anything it's until it's too late. My mind was so occupied with the dark thoughts, I failed to realize I was staring at everyone around the table. Um, I may know a little bit more about this situation than I've let on. Sorry about that. No, my stomach is full of the lies I've been eating. <laughs> Don't ask what that previous sentence was. Not even I know. It's nothing. Really? Well, Sian, you know you're the only one in my heart, so, um, well, yes, I, I have been concerned about Taiga. What? Why on earth would I concern myself over a boor like him? Cut. Fuck. Uh, why was it that at times like this, she 
Shion suddenly seemed able to read me like a book. I debated over whether I should spill everything when... That the fucking thud? Did he fucking collapse? では、皆様ではないようですね。どうするとあの音はイスルキ様の部屋か。あ、おう。あ、おスパゲティオス。タイガの部屋で何かあったのあ、みあ、ヒアビスリーディンゴインザルーム。私は玄関先におりましたので、
true. He would try to escape overseas. Oh, yeah, he's on a plane to Ethiopia right now to meet his friend who gave him that alcohol. I mean, he's not dying, Nayuta, so I'll placate you there. Anyway, if he isn't answering the door, we've little choice but to force our way in and check if he's all right. What? Me? Give the signal. All right, Nayuta, now. Is he going to open the door right now? Is he going to open it? Oh. Shion's, Shion's orders top mine. Doste? Why? I mean, yeah, that's a smart assumption to make. Oh, yeah. Kaska, kiss my ass. If you had it with you, why didn't you say so sooner? Just give it to me. I snatched the key out of Casca's hand and quickly unlocked the door to Taika's room. Uh, Taika! Oh. I dashed to his side. I fished his upper body out from the things piled around him and pulled him into my lap. Oh no. I didn't want to believe this could happen. Why did you go for the last resort, you tremendous idiot? <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's that was his master plan. He's an escape artist. He turned himself into a pillowcase. <laughs> I love that both of them are in it with us. I'm so sorry. If only I hadn't been so stubborn and offered to help you when you needed it most. Huh? Go Go he moved! Taika shifted in my arms. His eyes opened slowly. <laughs> eh? 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 Nandamara. Oja, Nandaya, Sono Namida. Rude. They died, fucko. You... You were sleeping? Shut the fuck up, asshole. I thought you were dead. Ah! Am I... Did I drop him? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's exactly what I would have actually done though too if I had somebody, someone in my arms who thought was dying and they, they're totally fine. Be like, drop. Having confirmed that Taiga was still alive, we all found seats among the mass to hear his story. Huh? <laughs> well, at least we were wrong. Well, you said you needed a lot of money. When you were on the phone in the garage. Ah, oh, that Tiger ran his hands through his hair, looking annoyed. Then he started from the beginning. Sports bibs? What the hell's a sports bib? Huh? Oh, what the fuck is a sports bib? Alright, well now I have to look this up. Sports bib. Oh, they're just basically sp like sport jerseys.
They're just jerseys. Huh? But why the fuck would you call them a sports bib? It's a jersey. Huh? I'm confused. Ah! And I, and I smacked my desk. No, don't, don't auto it. What the fuck is going on? Yeah, I guess. This is odd. あ、さっきも言った通りだ。心配すんな。大船に乗ったつもりで任せとけ。1週間。今度の日曜が運動会なんだ。so it's something for a sports festival. Ah! もう少しどうにかなんねえのか。町内会のおじさんにも頼んでみたよ。でも、シスターが風邪で倒れたっていうだけで予定を変えるわけにはいかないって。うん。ひどいよ。みんな楽しみにしてるのに。大人はみんな
I never knew he could look so tender. The look on Tyga's face was utterly unlike his usual bored sarcasm. It was bright, innocent, childlike. It was enough to make me want to forgive him for everything he'd put us through. Mm-hmm. He glanced down at the mountain of failed attempts littering the floor and let out a weary sigh. That's only half. He has until only Sunday to finish the rest, and he thinks it'll work out? It was just too much. I had to do something. I looked at him and opened my mouth to speak. We're gonna offer to help. He's not gonna- he's still at a fucking axe. He's not gonna be able to do it. Wait! The words fell out of my mouth as I saw Taika slowly pull himself to his feet. I can't simply stand back and watch this anymore. Um, I- I- Hmm. I wasn't about to. Oh, uh, why is it so difficult to find the right words at times like this? He gave me a doubtful, a doubtful. <laughs> he gave me a doubtful look. I closed both my hands into fists, gathering the will to speak. Sewing, my hobby. I said that sewing is my hobby. I'm good at it too. I know how to embroider. I even made cute mascot plushies for Samugi when she asks, and trust me, she does ask. A lot. So I know what I'm doing. My face felt like it had gone red to the tips of my ears. I knew I sounded horribly awkward, but that was the best I could manage. Oh. I kind of feel bad for being an asshole to him earlier. If that's how you want to interpret it. Yes, I'm saying I'll help you, okay? Ugh, what else do you expect me to do? Yeah, it's just us, the other guys. <laughs> nah, it's just us. Taika stared at me, frozen in place, his eyes as wide as saucers. Besides, they'll turn out ex exponentially better if I do them instead of you. <laughs> yeah, fuck off! <laughs> He grimaced as he picked up one of the many failures strewn about on the floor. Just so you know, I'm doing this only for the children at the orphanage. Oh. Oh. No! Don't be cute! Don't be cute! I can't be having a, a crisis now! Uh, it's been a long time since I've seen such a pure smile. I felt my face burn even hard, hotter. It might be a team effort. <laughs> it might be a sea viper. What? <laughs> Captions, go home, you're drunk. <laughs> yeah, he sounds like really sweet now. Shion, you can think of designs. Oh, <laughs> Close! Sea viper! Like, the ocean! And then a viper! It was so weird! I feel bad for whatever the fuck the captions are gonna pick up on my birthday stream. <laughs> Which I will be announcing soon! Kasuka, could you? Sewing set to this, Soon you to Hey! Everyone begin to move at once. I pulled myself back together and began collecting the fabric scraps scattered across the floor. <sighs> Taiga's room was far too small for a project of this size, so we all moved to the living room. I'll be glued. Mm. Thank you. Place it over there, please. Hey, I was right! She on on designs! Taiga, 
なんつうかさすがシーンだね<笑>俺にはこんな発想ねえさすがシーンだよみんなコーヒーのポットはここに置いておくから<笑> He's on refreshment duty Everyone divvied up the tasks and set to work. If, if, it wasn't as if anyone took strict control of things, but work still flowed smoothly, nevertheless. Even Taiga, who was clearly on death's doorstep earlier, was regaining some of his usual spunk. <laughs> Why does he have to look at it so closely? <laughs> I'm happy stimming right now. This is making me really happy. <laughs> uh, oh! Oh, <laughs> no reason. Say another word and I'll turn you into a pincushion. Nothing. Nothing happened. N nothing! Shut the fuck up! Shut 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 your mouths and get to work! Nayuta, I'm about to run out of fabric. Eat you another cup of coffee, please. Hi, Tadaima! Ah, um, milk is a little bit of a little If I order, the craft and continue to pace. Oh! Did you say something? Yeah, nandemo. Mm hmm, I'd be a good head of the household. <laughs> I'm certainly good at production, so I think I probably would be good head of household, possibly. As long as I didn't actually have to do all the cooking and cleaning. I'm not too great at that. But that's why we have servants! Yeah! Yeah. Finally, all that was left was to sew the sports bibs onto the shirts. I'm so confused! What are sports bibs now? That doesn't match up with anything I'd seen! Alright. We're gonna look this up. Japanese sports bibs. Not bikes. Okay, you know what? No, I don't know. I couldn't find anything. <sighs> Thank you for your help, everyone, but I'll handle the rest on my own. You can go to bed. I don't want you to keep me company. Don't keep me company. No, thank you. I'll work better on them on when I'm on my own. Honestly, it's so it's so hard to concentrate with all of them making such a fuss around me. And at this point it's a race against time. Thank you, Shinyan. <laughs> Good night. So, what's your excuse for not going to bed? You've been working your ass off. Go to sleep, fucker. Oh. I looked back down at the sewing in my lap and kept stitching bibs onto gym shirts. So I guess it must be some sort of like uh, I don't know, I've stopped. I've stopped guessing. <laughs> Taika grabbed a shirt and a bib and and clumsily started to follow my example. Uh, no thank you. So <laughs> This applique is one that you made, right? It's a very cute little bear. So confused. Appliques? <laughs> Not at all, but just thinking of you sewing this cute little bear with such a serious look of concentration on your face. Yes. 
I expected him to make some kind of snarky retort, but when I snuck a glance to my side, I saw the shadow of a grin lurking around his lips. Am I literally going to do his route second after I finish Shion's? Am I literally going to do this? I think I may. You know, I think this may be the most relaxed we've ever been around each other. I looked up at the clock and realized that it was far later than I initially thought. It's already past 11. You ought to go back to your room and get some sleep. Personally, I would feel a lot better if he did simply dump it in my lap and leave. I was the one who made such a fuss over it in the first place. Not that I could ever tell him that. He'd definitely tease me about it. There's only a few left to finish. I can wrap things up on my own. Besides, aren't you hitting your limit? You haven't gotten much sleep over the past while. It was being uncharacteristically wishy-washy. What? Is there something you want to say? Or are you, are you, or are you that worried my work won't be satisfactory? Mm-hmm. Hmm? Ugh, what is it already? It didn't seem like he was going to say anymore. With little other choice, I turned back to my work. Absorbed in my favorite hobby, I noticed Taika's close presence less and less. There, that one is finished. Next is... My hands froze at Taiga's unexpected outburst. He must have stood up, because I realized he was no longer sitting beside me. What the fuck did you do? What? Well, that's unexpected. It was so sudden that my heart skipped to the heat. I turned my head to this. I started to turn my head to see what was happening. What in the world has gotten into you? Oh, that's really cute. Excuse me, put up with this. If he knows he's forcing me to put up with something, he should stop doing it in the first place. Normally, I'd have no problem giving voice to my retort, but for some reason, the words wouldn't come. He's hugging us. He's giving us a big, warm hug. And I was very curious what expression Taika was wearing right now, too. He was sitting beside us. I don't know. He felt warm and fuzzy that we were helping him. My uneasiness and nervousness grew, and my heart started doing funny feeling flips. You're too heavy! Still. <laughs> Do you need a hug, Taiga? I can give you a hug. I can't say anything. Not now. I couldn't work up a sufficient reaction to what was happening. Instead, I focused on calming my heartbeat. Not that I had any idea how to do that as long as we sat like this. That's what I thought he had done too! But then he hugged us and I was like, oh, he was just feeling embarrassed. Taiga's arms only encircled my head, but it was still the most intimate embrace I'd ever received from a man. Why are you being so quiet? Say something, Taiga Isurugi. He may have heard my thoughts, because I felt him take a deep breath above my head. Then... Shot through the heart! Tiger's to blame! God, I'm such a gay! Ugh. <gasps> You're sorry? Whatever for? Had he insisted I look away so I wouldn't see him blush? Whoops! Well, um, this isn't gonna work. Oh shit, bro! Yeah, this ain't working. Never mind that! <laughs> Never mind romance! Did I hear what I just thought I- what I think I heard? Teasing me was as natural as breathing to him, and he clearly took joy poking at me. But thanks? And I'm sorry, too! I couldn't believe my ears, but more than that, would you not suddenly turn earnest, please? Because if you do, then I... 
I'm sorry too. Oh, look at his fucking little face! His apology automatically prompted one of my own. I wanted to say I was sorry for assuming the worst about him when I'd overheard that call. And I wanted to say that I was moved by how far he'd gone out of the way- out of his way for the sake of those children. But my pride wouldn't let more than a simple sorry slip out. Because! Take it or leave it! That was the most I could manage. So, so sorry, I probably made the mood really bad now. How long is he gonna stay like this? Oh? <laughs> oh, that's really fucking cute. Don't laugh, sir. What's so funny? <laughs> Rude! Shut up! I'm not! Well, I'll be level with myself now. I think you're acting really fucking adorable right now. I could say the same to you. Oh, I took it thought. No, you don't have to. Oh. And you're not ashamed to admit that? Oh, he doesn't even care. Enough! Let go of me already. Is that what you wanted to say? Aren't you satisfied now? Oh, that was good. Do not Take advantage of me. If you don't release me right now, I'm gonna bite your arm. <laughs> oh, that worked, and he let go of me. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. The next morning. Water. No, thank you. Oh, yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Yeah, that we go from that to fucking each year. Good, good choice, Utenica, doing him next. I think that might be the root option that I do. I'll go with Shion first, and then I'll do Taiga. Of course we did. Is your ego so big that you think that you seriously think we'd bother? Now, how did we go? Ah, how did it go? Aww. Wrong gender, but aww. I res- I re- I- I- I mourned my ability to read. I res resolutely ignored the sudden urge to jump for joy. Oh, that's wonderful to hear. No. <laughs> hey. Oh? Oh. Ah, Dokoga. <laughs> what has if? Excuse me, I think that's my line. <laughs> Never mind. And so the gambling debt drama caused by a misinterpreted phone call came to a happy conclusion. <gasps> Clear! Oh. What's this? No peeking! Confused by his uncharacteristic actions, Tiger retreats to his room and runs into an ambush! <gasps> let's, let's figure it out, and then we might have to end it for the night. Around 2 a.m. Uh, the last of the bibs was finally sewn. Leaving my exhausted body off the couch, I dragged myself towards my room. I cannot use a pitch voice when I'm talking in Taiga first person. That's just not right. Babe, the MVP of the night had already disappeared up the stairs. Mm. I didn't like owing people favors. And owing her a favor only made things that much more awkward. 
Uh, there's no denying she saved my butt. Why am I still saying she? Prince, I have the power. I have the power of the gender here. Not only that, I had to admit, the sight of him huffing and fuming while he worked, while his hands worked magic with a needle was something else. I had a hard time tearing my eyes away. Yeah. Love is in the air. Ugh, great. Just remembering what I did is seriously embarrassing. Like, really? He's six years younger than me. What was I thinking? How am I supposed to look him in the face tomorrow? Though, I figure he's probably in the same boat. I doubt he's much experience with that kind of thing. Dad, that, that, watch, as they're all gonna pop up now. Now you say you ruined it. And you ruined it as well. None of you are good at this. <laughs><笑><笑> Oh! You weren't making it any better, honey. Don't abuse Nayuta. <laughs> Oh, well, I mean, yeah, okay. Like, mm, okay, honey. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I feel like his I feel like Dayuta's hugs would break bones. Oi, Baka Yamero. Arenga Taiga no Teguchiranda. Kyomi Nasasoni Misekakata with it. Nakanaka Yariane. Uh-huh, do we really? Oh, damn it, this is a complication I don't need. やっぱり俺聞いてきます。彼女の部屋まで行くのかい。じゃあ俺も。I <笑> Oh, you are more of a phys uh, more of a uh, verbal degradation type person, Gasha. <laughs> you scare me, uh. Shiva. <laughs> At times like this, you scare me. What are you planning? Eastern Michigan. What? <laughs> what? I headed to my room, ignoring the two dimwits who clutched their heads, moaning. <sighs> uh, it very much was. I sounded so pathetic, I couldn't help but chuckle. Hell with it, I can work out the details later. For now, sleep. My jaw cracked into a huge yawn. With a huge yawn. I flopped into bed and didn't stir into the morning. Yep, it is. All right, yay! Board clear. Take his board clear. All right, let's see what our message is. Passing it along. I forgot to bring it up earlier, but the kids gave you a message or gave me a message. They said they wanted to thank you in person, so you should come visit. They're really looking forward to seeing you. Give some thought. They are. Yep, yeah, I hyped you up to the moon. I said you're the prettiest boy in existence. What? Hope I didn't set that hurdle too high. Excuse me! It's not like I was lying, though. Hmm, do the blushy blush thing again? Face gone beat red. This is blushy, Taiga. This is blushy. And you know what? Okay. 
You can get some blushy. You can have a little bit of blushy if you wish. Heart pitter pattering like little mouse feet. No, no, and definitely not. Ah. I you for this, big time. Thanks. Appreciate it. You're welcome. All right, then. A secret meeting. Yeah, big mouse feeds. I... Or, Adimoto's dream. Ooh. Arimura comes to visit the house to repair Rabi. We start talking and the subject turns to our futures. Or... How do I get back down here? Okay, there we go. Or a secret meeting. When a stubborn flirt, stubborn flirt just won't leave me alone, a man I've never met comes to her rescue. I want to do this one. This one sounds fun. All right, well, this will be the last one for the night. <laughs> And then I'll have to go to bed. Don't you think it's a little too cutesy? We must look like fucking day and night next to each other. Um, isn't that a negligee boutique? Yeah, that's yeah, and that's why I'm so that's why I'm so like into it. I'm like a new person. Who's it? Who's he? Samuki glanced at me and grinned. A giggle slipped from her lips. I don't need them to fall in love with me more. Advantages, she says. <laughs> Sanuki started humming with joy. I sighed. It wasn't that I disliked shopping. I did enjoy it, especially when I did when I got to do it together with Samugi. It's just Samugi and I had such utterly different attitudes about the actual act of shopping. In my case, I'd simply summon a department store sales representative to the house. Kazuka would choose some things for me and I'd pick what I liked. That's it. But Samugi would go to shop after shop after shop until she found exactly what she wanted. It was, frankly, exhausting. I was in awe of the sheer amount of energy she had. I miss going to the mall. I like going to the mall just window shopping. You want to try on even more? Can't we take a break first? I need to sit down and have something sweet to regain my energy. My tired entreaty was cut off by the ringtone of Sumuki's phone. Sumugi looked at me apologetically. I nodded at her unspoken question. While Samuki stepped away, I checked my phone for any convenient cafes nearby that I could take a break. We did, it was just bling, bling, bling. I really wanted something sweet, and if something sweet happened to evolve strawberries and whipped cream, all the better. I was still hunting for a cafe when Samuki finished her call and came back. Oh no! Samuki's apologetic expression endured. I shook my head. No, no, it's all right. It must be important if they called you. We can finish shopping some other time. You don't have to. I'll be all right on my own. I'm not a child. I'm not a child, right? Go on. Your family needs you. I imagine she probably would like, like, an anime ringtone, but I think she probably wouldn't, simply because of her family. Samuki reluctantly lifted an arm to flag down a taxi. Oh, it's okay, Samuki. Some other time, then. Samuki apologized again as she got into the taxi. I saw her off with a smile and a little wave. See you soon. Yeah. Ani, I'm, I'm not, like, a lost child. Samuki continued to shout advice from the moving car. Ugh, she sounded so overwrought. I saw it. Sighing at Samuki's overprotective nature, I pulled out my phone. I needed to tell Casca to come get me. No, wait a minute. You know, you know, it's not every day I have alone time like this. Maybe I'll take a little stroll. That thought crossed my mind and a little thrill shivered in my tummy. 
Think it back. That was very... Ooh, that, mm, thinking back. Thinking back. I hardly ever... No, I had never been out in public. Been, out, been alone out in public like this before. I'm going home right now. Only meant having to deal with whatever shenanigans those four were up to. Yes, I'll have a cup of coffee and go home by myself. That sounds lovely. I heard my expression to stop my silly smile from raising on my face and strode off. Coffee. Coffee. Go in to have coffee. Ten confident steps later, I ran smack into my first obstacle. Um, where do I go now? That was the first question. I looked up nearby cafes on my phone and ran into the next obstacle. There were so many cafes and coffee shops, I was overwhelmed with choices. Normally, I simply follow Samugi to whichever shops she wants to go to. Now that it, now that I was alone, it finally hit me that I never really went together with Samugi. She had always taken me along with her. At the same time, I heard Taika's voice in my head saying the word sheltered. He off eased it off and around me. Only a minute ago, I'd felt so confident, like I could explore the world by myself. And yet, now that confidence was deflated. Just thinking about my bravado made me flush in embarrassment. I, I guess I ought to call Casca. That thought floated into my mind and I immediately felt even more embarrassed. <laughs> I looked up on the verge of tears and saw a young man standing there smiling brightly. His cheery expression reminded me of a little of the cute plushie I had at home. Considering that he has no sprite at all, I think this is the flirty man. You know this area? Then, um, do you know of any good cafes? Cafe? Shittiru, shittiru, chow, shittiru. Let's go get coffee and chat. It was a line I heard many times. Every time it came up, Samugi's expression turned icy. Yeah. I'm not interested. Get lost. Or she would say something along those lines. In other words, this man was hitting on me. The moment I realized that, I was suddenly very annoyed by his presence. So, brief print story time. I have never been hit on in public by a stranger. It's never happened to me. <sighs> um, I got catcalled once in my life. Um, and it was what I was honestly good. Honestly, good. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I would do if someone, if a stranger randomly started hitting on me in the street. I would probably run away. <laughs> Let's be honest. I'd be like, mm -mm, I'm out of here. Um, I got catcalled once, uh, which is a, a million times less than most people, <laughs> than most AFAB people. Um, and it wasn't even in English. I was walking I was walking home in college to my dorm or not dorm my apartment on, on campus um, and like I visibly am disabled I walk with a cane um, and I just heard from like the air I don't literally literally don't know where this voice was coming from hey chica and then something in Spanish and I was like huh huh I looked around. I I couldn't tell who had called call who had cat called me or what. And I was just like, well, I'm not bothering with this. I just started walking faster. <laughs> so I think we I think it's it's very very uh, very easy conclusion to make that if Prince gets hit on in the street, Prince will run away. Men like him pretended to be kind. Then they'd pry into their unwary victims and take advantage of them. It was one of the sleaziest things a person could do. Letting my aggravation show, I fixed it with a glare. I can fight it on my own, thank you. I appreciate the help, but that's all I need. Please leave me alone. I can take care of myself. I quickly walked away, just as, I've, just as I'd observed Samugi do countless times in the same situation. 
that ought to make him give up and slink away. My cane is going up your asshole. In three, two, one, evisceration. I mean, it's also not a good idea to randomly hit on someone who literally carries around a blunt force weapon on them at all times. See, okay, so I've looked up literally the laws of my state to get a sword cane. I don't know where the fuck I would find one, though. Also, it does have to be registered as a uh, hidden weapon, as a concealed weapon. <laughs> and I was like, oh, well, well. Every single one of my friends is also like, see, she got a sword cane. And I'm like, yes, where the fuck would I find one? <laughs> you say that like there's just a sword cane shop. <laughs> Leave me alone. I started walking faster, hoping to shake him loose, but then the man reached out to grab me, his hand just barely brushing past my arm. Ah, <gasps> Ah, possibly. <laughs> I feel like Sword Cane off of Amazon probably wouldn't like, be that good of a sword. <laughs> a cold shiver ran down my spine and my voice fled. I'd never been treated this way before. No one had ever dared take such a crass attitude with the Tosho family hair. Hair. Air. Fuck me. But to this man, I was just another high school girl. One that he could easily push around, hit on, and handle however he wanted. I shuddered, the realization sinking in. Clenching my jaw, I desperately tried to keep myself from hyperventilating. I can't show any fear. I have to look confident and keep resisting him until he gives up. Just as I was trying to think of something to say. Oh? Ooh. Another man walked up. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> There's two of them now! In one motion, he twisted the other man's arm away from me and pulled me close to him. Huh? Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? He looks like Ichiya slightly. But I think that might just be the hair color. That- we- same wavelength, Zetanaga! Same wavelength! Um, I think it might be Ichia too, but I'm uncertain. Does Ichia have a twin? Too stunned to speak, I stared at the newcomer, but he doesn't have Ichia's voice. He was in Kasuga, that's for sure. In fact, I've never seen him before. He noticed me looking at him and gave me a quick, sly wink. Yania. Yeah, <laughs> I think it is Ichia. Holy shit. I think it is Ichia. Any smell. He's pretending to be my boyfriend. The man who hit me blinked in surprise, but recovered quickly. Speaking harshly, he said, I think it's Ichia. I think it's either Ichia's, uh, hidden personality? You know, like, I, that's not the word I should use. Hidden personality is not the right word. It's alter ego, alter ego, that's the word. <laughs> I mean, I guess hidden personality works too. But now, I'm going to Yeah, yeah. His secret identity. The man who hit on me shrieked in pain as his arm was twisted further! My rescuer looked at me and smiled, almost like he was giving me a cue. I suddenly realized what his smile was asking of me. Hesitantly, I started to speak. I was so scared. I'm not mad. Not anymore. Thank you for coming. Ooh. Uh, huh? uh, yes, uh, of course. 
He nodded and turned to the man who'd hit on me, a big smile on his face. He loosened his grip on the other man's arm. The sleazeball jerked his arm free and slunk away. That's not Ichia! Holy shit, he's hot though! Huh. As soon as the coast was clear, he moved his he removed his hand from my shoulder. Um That is a much too strong of a jawline for Ichia. I was... you were a very big help, thank you. Ah, I'm sorry. I apologize, feeling a rush of embarrassment over my naivety. I can't believe I trusted that skeevy man for a second! I had to have to rely on a stranger to come rescue me. I was ashamed of myself. If Grandfather or the others found out about this, they'd never let me hear the end of it. <sighs> I couldn't hide my disappointment myself. Apparently this upset my rescuer as he hurriedly spoke up. I quickly shook my head. No, thank you. I'm fine. I was just on my way to my way home. I'll have someone come and pick me up. It really would suck. Dude. Getting coffee together. Hearing that line a second time so soon after the first offer made me gulp. Yes, he did help me, but I'd once again started to blindly trust a person I'd only just met. I couldn't believe my own stupidity. He must have noticed my expression shift because he gave me a wry smile. <laughs> Me neither. This is fe this feels like not completely out of left field, but completely out of left field. He reached out and gently touched my hands. Oh, we're shaking. I didn't notice until he mentioned it, but he was correct. I was physically shaking. I helped myself and took a deep breath, trying to make it stop. If I called Casca and he found me like this, I had a feeling he wouldn't just call the police. He would be livid at me, too. Moreover, this was the type of embarrassing mistake that a member of the Tojo family was not allowed to make. He looked at me with eyes wide, with gentle concern. Slowly, I nodded. His voice is really silent. Uh, honestly? Uh, I don't know. I don't feel like we made any mistake. I feel like we were solidly the victim in this scenario. Um, but I guess the mistake was not immediately calling Casca. But it still would have taken him time to get here, and we still could have been hit on by that guy, so... He started walking. I quietly followed behind him. Or maybe the mistake was, like, not being able to stand up for herself? But it's the f if that's the fucking first time you've had someone hit on you in the, s in the street, no wonder you fucking freeze up. I'm really- I'm- <laughs> Gee, Prince, how do you really feel about this? Yeah, exactly. We didn't do anything. I'm very grateful for your assistance earlier today. You rescued me from a very awkward situation. After we made our orders, I offered him a more formal thank you. I had to find something to say, any conversation topic. And yet, words escaped me. I had no idea what to say. The silence stretched on, making me even more nervous. I have to find something to talk about, but what? Um, what to talk about? What to talk about? Th thank you very much for your help. I thanked him again, bowing in my seat. He broke out in a muffled chuckle. I felt a blush creeping up on my cheeks. I quickly looked down at my lap. What? That's so fucking bland. Onisa, 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 Onisa. See? Doesn't tell me jack shit about you. Onisa? 
What? 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 I'm sorry. Back up ten steps. You skipped go. You skipped go. You are thirty leagues ahead. You're hot, but now I don't trust you. But, uh, I don't think. That's literally the exact same thing. That's not much better. <laughs> Kazu. Kazu smiled broadly as he apologized. He was clearly having fun. He looked at me expectantly. Um, I... Tojo. For some reason, the word got stuck in my throat. I couldn't make it come out. It was a name that changed people. For better or for worse. If I even said Tojo. That, yeah, that really was, like, way too fucking weird. <laughs> There's no way you could, you could, uh, play off asking a random person on the street. I don't know. It does sound very similar to Casca, though. But yeah, there's no way you can play off asking a random person on the street to call you Big Brother. Like, that's the stuff that gives you fucking weird side eyes. <laughs> oh, man. If I even said Tojo, a person with whom I'd been having a normal, pleasant conversation with would suddenly look at me with a different glint in their eyes. That change always frightened me. Oh? Do I, I get a nickname? That's so cute. Oh? Cuticle? All of these are bad. This man is just bad at names. My name's Prince. My name popped out in a rush. Casca smiled, looking very entertained by the whole thing. Wrong! Totally wrong. <laughs> at least I managed to avoid any cheesy nicknames. I stifled a short sigh of relief. Our server arrived with our orders just then. I was thankful for the perfect timing. Wow. Kazu's plate. I saw a mountain of bananas, chocolate, mousse, ice cream. The toppings alone stretched up and up. The meal fui itself was enormous. I, um, I take it you like sweet things? That's a big dessert for I don't particularly like sweet things. He mumbled, it's good, and ducked his head shyly. I simply nodded. It does look delicious. My pancakes were unbelievably fluffy, my knife sinking into them with hardly any encouragement. I cut a modestly sized bite, put some whipped cream and strawberries on it, and brought it to my mouth. You know, it wouldn't fucking surprise me. The mildly sweet and foamy pancake, the surprisingly light whipped cream, and then there was the tangy strawberries smothered with a smooth chocolate sauce. <gasps> it was so delicious, I couldn't help but let a little sign of happiness escape me. This is so fucking weird. I mean, hooray, we're getting sweets, but this is just a rando. This really is just a rando that's, that, quote, saved, unquote, us, um, uh, my red flag senses are tickled, uncertain if they should be going off. They're like, mm, I'm paying careful attention to what's going on here. Kazu smiled at me again, and I felt myself flushed in embarrassment at my slip up. I quickly took a sip of tea to collect myself, breathing a soft sigh of relief. This was so peaceful. I could hardly remember the last time I'd felt so relaxed over a cup of tea. I was with a person I'd only just met too, and yet I felt strangely at ease. Maybe he fucking is Ichiya. It would never be like this with them. Yeah. It is him! It is him! Look at the fucking eyes! 
And the hair! I think it's Ichia. I think it's Ichia. We're imagining what it would be like if we were with any of the other suitors here. <laughs> oh god. Oh god, I wasn't expecting that. I expect that straight in my ear. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. Look, I can listen to fucking R18 drama CDs where they're fucking whispering in your ear and shit. I'm fine with that because I know it's coming. This guy fucking gets up in my ears like, Sono come on. And I'm like, Bleh. Yes, thank you, water. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Of course, Tiger's like, you should eat real fucking food. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Unexpected Prince ASMR. Just wait until I turn my uh, turn my mic into. Uh, I can do. Okay. I know I said I wasn't gonna stream late, but fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. I'm not going to work early tomorrow. Okay, hold on for one second, because I actually have to mute myself. Maybe this? <laughs> Hello! I don't think that's doing what I think it's doing. Then we go back to normal. <laughs> hi, it, hi, it's me, Prince, directly in your ears. That's funny. <laughs> maybe I'll, maybe I'll make Prince ASMR a, uh, a some sort of reward for something. <laughs> つまる。このスイーツ飾り付けが綺麗だな。ああ、しよう。もしかして他にも気になるメニューあったりする? <笑> Fuck yeah! All the sweets I want, I'm gonna drain that man's wallet dry! <laughs><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> O9 Toyota. Yep, that's his name now. It's the O9 Toyota. Ugh, I just can't. Oh, oh, what did we say? I must have said that out loud because Kazu suddenly looked up, worried. Oh, uh, no, you didn't. I'm sorry. I was uh, thinking of some acquaintances of mine. <laughs> yeah, he probably would be fine. Though they certainly don't act like they're certain, simply acquaintances. I doubt it any of them would learn the meaning of restraint, even if I ground the dictionary in their faces. I'd really rather not be friends with them. If we did become friends, where would they take me to hang out? What activities would they expect me to do? I had no idea, and that terrified me. Um... No. 
The answer was immediate and blunt. Kazu grimaced. I nodded. Why am I giving my life story to this man? He's not my therapist. Though I feel like sometimes our character could use a therapist. Kazu smiled encouragingly, but I hesitated. He didn't know me at all. Okay, finally some fucking goddamn common sense. Not only did he not know about my suitors, he didn't even know that I was part of the Tojo family. Why should he? He's a stranger on the street! When I looked at things from that angle, the burden of the ordeal felt just a little bit lighter. No! 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 Stop! You actually had common sense for a second! Now you don't! Um, you see, I've been maneuvered into something like a courtship with four men. <laughs> <laughs> His mind went somewhere else. And all of them are unemployed. Oh, businessman. <laughs> Never mind that you're creepy as hell. I could tell because it was a little put off. I nodded in complete understanding. I couldn't wrap my mind around it either. And I had to live with it. Not so much forceful as just a little pushy, I guess. They're definitely very vocal. Yes! Kazu looked down, thinking for a moment. <laughs> do you think I haven't tried that? There are circumstances that make doing so impossible. Just recalling the situation made me grit my teeth in annoyance. No. Yeah, if only it was that easy. If only I just said, sorry, suitors, I'm in love with Casca. We just fucking went off on a white horse through the sunset. <sighs> Fondness. Every time I was asked that, conflicting emotions welled up inside me. They're loud and aggravating, yes, but they aren't bad people, I suppose. It's just... When people ask me if I'm in love, I... I don't know how to answer, I suppose. It irritated me that I couldn't explain it properly. I didn't hate them, at least I didn't think so, but what I felt towards them wasn't an emotion I could comfortably identify as love. What did love feel like anyway? If it ever did blossom in me, would I be able to point and say that's love? Honey, that's aromanticism. Welcome to the club. Those thoughts were getting more and more invasive and were taking up my daily life. I bit back a sigh, electing not to vent my turmoil, but Kazu spoke up. Uh huh? Uh -huh. I'll give him that that's not terrible advice. You know? 7 out of 10 advice. Yes! Yes, that's exactly it! I almost leapt from my seat. Stop myself. I was shocked. I never met anyone who could give voice to my feelings so clearly. Simply knowing someone understood is enough to make my dilemma feel smaller by an order of magnitude. As I let relief wash over me, Kazu sat quietly and watched. After a moment, he said... Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Spaghettios! Do you just do this to any random lady you meet on the street? Just like, listen to her bent? Cause that's weird. <laughs> Kazu's words soaked into me like a bomb. I felt like I finally heard the words I'd been aching to hear for a long time. Yeah, yeah, good point. Kazu smiled, but I shook my head. No, that was very insightful. I greatly appreciate the advice. Thank you. That doesn't make me feel better. Kazu's smile was mischievous. I couldn't help but smile along with him.
How long? Oh, shit. After that, the two of us got to chatting. I, we didn't leave the, the coffee house until it was almost sunset. Being as shy as I was, it was... It... It so was. <laughs> Being as shy as I was, it was a huge accomplishment to sit and chat naturally for hours with someone I just met. Yeah, it's still going. He's such a strange person. In fact, as I called home to request a ride, I was surprised to realize that I was reluctant to say goodbye. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, please, at least let me pay your bill. <laughs> My Mufui Mountain. That was a date, honey. We just went on a fucking date with a stranger! No, I owe you all my thanks. Hearing the sincerity in my voice, Kazu broke into bright smile. Yeah! Hours! <laughs> yes, they aren't very far from here. Yeah. Hmm? Kazu paused for a minute, then... Tuck his hand in his pocket, pull out his phone. Smooth. <laughs> a man I just met asked me for my number. <laughs> you know, after the weirdness, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised. I stared at him in shock, but apparently he took that the wrong way and started to panic. You know, I really feel like this is gonna be... He's gonna end up being Ichia. And it's gonna be part of Ichia's brood, is that we're suddenly finding out all these inconsistencies about him, and it turns out that he's actually Kazu. Uh, no, I didn't mean to. I, um, I, I don't mind giving him my ID. The fact that he knew nothing about me opened up so many potential topics to talk about. If I was to find the correct answer to my problems, I'd probably need someone to, can really, to really confide in. He... He kind of does. Just a little bit. But that might just be because I'm used to hearing some voice actors. But I mean, this voice... Doesn't really sound a lot like this voice. Kazu added my ID to his contact list, then looked up at me and smiled. Achievement unlocked! Therapist! Question <laughs> mark. Kazu said that last point with a sly wink. It was so funny, I did giggle. Red flags! Red flags! Red flags! What the fuck do you mean? I'd appreciate it if people didn't know that we met. Oh. Surprise, Prince is actually three cats in a trench coat. <sighs> Zetetica, I'm scared. <laughs> oh, this isn't good. Oh. <laughs> Truly, this man has just been setting the bar higher and higher and higher for suspicious things. Oh, good, good point. If they found out I had met Kazu, I knew that they would start pestering me to meet him. They were petty like that, and there was no scarier opponent than a petty opponent. What about Kazuka? What would he do? If he knew I'd given my contact information to a man I just met on the street. Freak out? Understandably? He'd be upset. More than upset, he'd be furious. Yes, let's keep this meeting secret. No, don't. Don't, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Thank you for everything. Why is our protagonist stupid? Kazu had barely walked out of sight when headlights came up behind me. Hey, Kazuka. I definitely wasn't doing anything I wasn't supposed to. Kazuka got out of his car, his usual smile on his face. Relief washed over me like a tropical wave. No, it's all right. I didn't wait long. <laughs> I 
Can you tell me what you are? Yes, he's not Casca. Oh, um, so Mookie's taxi arrived first, so she, uh, she went home already. Casca looked at me sharply. I quietly looked back. Yeah, they're not. Stay calm. Stay calm. I held his gaze sadly, as if I had nothing to hide. <laughs> okay, that's funny because that's exactly how I learned how to lie. That's how I learned how to lie to my, to my, uh, my Earth parents. That's exactly how I learned how to lie. The minute I heard uh, that if you don't make eye contact, they think you're suspicious, I immediately ingrained it to my head that whenever I lie, you have to make intense eye contact. Like you're fucking. You, you want it? You want? It, tell me I'm lying. Tell me I'm lying. Was it a good thing for young prince to learn? Definitely not. Um, what is a thing young prince learned? Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, it still holds up to today. <laughs> oh, thank. Oh, shit, I'm gonna sneeze. I'm gonna sneeze. They're not. <laughs> also, holy shit, am I so glad I muted I muted my mic there for that sneeze? That was a horrible one. <laughs> Hi, Keekers. No, they are not watching this stream. My 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 Earth parents do know that I that I do this. They know that I do this, and I've so I've shown them a couple of clips of my stuff, but they don't actually come watch me. Neither does my little Earth brother. Even though they've offered to, and I'm like, uh-uh, no thank you. Love you, but um, no thank you. My honest luck must have reassured him because his expression brightened. That's how it goes. So this guy. I swear, if you fall in love with my best friend, I'm gonna fucking vomit. I don't know why the first word I wanted to say was piss, but <laughs> there will be some sort of liquid coming out. That sounds worse. That sounds worse. Yes. Much worse. I ducked into the car before he thought of more questions. Casca got, got... Casca got into the front passenger seat. As soon as he closed his door, the car began to move. This was a dangerous operation. Today was a long day. My first attempt at truly trying to do something on my own led me to getting hit on by a skeevy stranger. <laughs> I almost... I, okay, I got so angry during the, um, the corpse party stream that um that uh i had to go pee very badly and basically forgot to mute my mic because i'd pee so badly uh and i think there i'm pretty sure there's a clip i think i clipped it of uh me coming back from the bathroom um which is like less than five feet away from my computer no more than five feet possibly it's like a minute less than a minute walk um why am I, why is my judging of time and distance so bad right now? It, my bathroom is very close to my actual computer. Um, it's just like how my kitchen is very close to my computer too. Um, but it, there's a clip of me coming back from the bathroom during a corpse party, during the corpse party stream in which I was trying and failing to beat the fucking bug pit. Do not jump down there. You will get stuck. And you know this. You've done this three times now. Oh my God. <laughs> Don't jump down there. Sorry. <laughs> if she jumps down there, she'll get fucking stuck and she'll start meowing and she'll be angry. Um, but yes, there's a, there's a clip of me coming back from the bathroom during a corpse party stream, which I've been trying and failing to beat this one section and failing horribly. And you could just hear me vaguely uh, vaguely in the corner of the microphone going, I'm so angry. I've just pissed out on my anger. So yes, I have been very angry enough to pee. <laughs> <laughs> the event made me painfully aware of my own night. <laughs> Naivety, naivety. But those mistakes led me to Kazu. He listened to me. He even gave me his WIS ID. For the first time, a man asked for my contact info. Just thinking about Kazu brought a smile to my face. My shriveled vulture of a grandfather said my only hope was mixer parties. I wish I could show him the number. It proved I could make friends with men normally. That's not a normal way to make friends! Meeting strangers on the street is not a normal way to make friends! Koska sounded curious. I quickly turned and looked out the window. 
Not bad. Not bad. I wasn't, definitely wasn't doing dangerous shit. All right. So who are we going to do next? I feel like we should do Ichia next. <sighs> I feel like Ichia next and then do Nayata last. That makes sense. It probably would be the order I do the roots in. Shia on the Taiga, then Ichia on the Nayata. You're so stupid. You're so silly. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hi! 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 Yep, that was still on the common route. That was just part of common route. Let's see what you next. Yep. Oh god. Well, we unlocked a new route. Oh, Ravi brought back a video and I have a new wisp message. Oh god. Please no. Well, this is where we're gonna call it for the night. I uh, wasn't expecting to go almost a whole hour more, but we finished Taiga's section. Um, Taiga's little first board. Um, we met Kazu, which uh, very confused about who he is, very kind of skeeved out. Uh, but you know, it is what it is. And today has been very nice. I very much needed this, uh, uh unwind. <laughs> Little hiccups. <laughs> Alright, so let's pop over here. That was extremely bizarre. That was very bizarre. Um. So yeah, you guys know the usual song and dance. If you're not following me on social media, I'd appreciate it if you would. Um. Yes, finally my TikTok glitch has been... Fixed, so my TikTok posting is back to normal levels. Fortunately, my my videos are not back to normal viewer levels. Weep, weep, sob, sob. Uh, but that's okay. We build up from the beginning as we did before. Um, so yeah. Tomorrow I will be streaming something. I don't know what I'll be streaming. I work again tomorrow. I'm hopefully will be able to stream at normal time. Um, and then I'll also be streaming Sunday as usual. Uh, as we get I. You know, just a warning as we get closer to April 18th, uh, I may I may have to cancel streams um, depending on my work schedule, my workload, <laughs> because uh, we may start staying super late all days. We'll see. I hope we won't. I don't think we will, but um, just wanted to give me all the heads up. Um, but yeah, that's it for tonight. Thank you so much for being here, Zetetica. I appreciate it. I hope you had fun, because I certainly did. Thank you. Yeah, I, uh... I'm fucking the koala on the branch. Hanging on tight. Oh. Yes, I very much enjoyed tonight's stream. That was great. That was This was exactly the lighthearted fun that I needed. Zetanica! Yeah, so it's one, two, technically three, and and like th three weeks and three days, more or less. Um, so, you know, if I suddenly start absolutely losing my mind, you'll know exactly what's going on. <laughs> uh Three weeks and three days until filing taxes or extensions. <sighs> but yes. Well, that's it for tonight. I hope you have a wonderful meowing afternoon, evening, whatever time it is for you. Oh, I am going to become a kitty burrito. And yeah, the kitty burrito sounds nice. <laughs> All right, well... Without any further ado, ah, uh, thank you so much, Zetetica. Yeah, I'm gonna go pass out. <laughs> uh, not probably not. I'll probably lay down for a few hours and then be like, okay, now I can fall asleep. <laughs> but yes, all right, <laughs> Prince, shut up. <laughs> all right, without any further ado, bye bye.